A mí me gusta que me traten como dama, aunque a veces se me olvide cuando estamos en la cama. A mí me gusta. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Spotlight TV. I'm your girl Joanna Luna, live on location at the fabulous. Let me tell you, it's Barrow, Toronto, here on King Street. Joining me here live is Chef Steven Gonzalez. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Gracias for being on the show. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your schedule. I don't know if you know, but we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month in October, in Ontario, and across our nation. Talk to me about being a Latino. What does it mean to you, man? Well, I feel, you know, actually first, let's start by saying thanks for having me and, <laughs> and like bringing me into this whole thing. The whole Hispanic Heritage Month is a pretty big deal. You know, like we don't get enough celebration for, our, for us and, and, and I'm super happy that you brought me into this. Well, muchísimas gracias. Listen, Mr. Gonzalez, like you got that it factor, man. Like you've been in social media, you do live hits. You really represent what a Latino really is. You know, a hardworking man in their groove. You go out and about, man. Talk to me more about your journey, though, as a, as a chef, because I know you've traveled across the country and abroad. Talk to me about your career. Yeah, I've, well, I've, I've been uh, been at this for almost 30 years now. Uh, Definitely been uh, been lucky enough and privileged enough to cook cook in different countries across the world. Uh, I cooked in uh, Miami, I cooked in Spain, I cooked in Hong Kong, in Turkey. Uh, I've cooked in different provinces here in Ontario and in, and in Canada. Sorry, uh, you know I've been around the block. And <laughs> I've been cooking for a while. It's definitely been a, a long, hard, hard battle and a, a journey, but. You know, I'm starting to reap the benefits of it now, I guess. Absolutely. Listen, man, you're 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 it, man. You're in the spotlight. I love what you're about, man, because you really represent, like I said, Latino, what it really means to be a Latino. I saw your social media hits. This guy is amazing. This guy does some really cool stuff on social media and the food, it's amazing. I've actually been here before, only once, right. one time. But if you had to, you know, make something for us for our spotlight TV crew here, what's your specialty? Well, we're, you know, we're here at Barrow, at Barrow Food is basically food from all across Latin America. We don't specialize in anybody, anywhere specific. Uh, we don't do traditional, we don't do classic. This is basically my interpretation of Latin American food in Toronto, right? Uh, what does that mean? It means I try to use as much local product as I could. You know, we have this great bounty from spring to summer of like tomatoes, corn, potatoes, all this good stuff that I'd rather use local stuff in, in, instead of importing it. But Steve, you're forgetting empanadas, man. Colombia, because you're Colombian. We, de we definitely make empanadas, <laughs> and uh, you know they're they're Colombian. And put it, it's my take on a Colombian empanada. You know, it's not your traditional. It's not you know, it's not what you're gonna see at the soccer field. It's not what you're gonna get at the nightclub. You know, you're gonna come to Baro, you're gonna get my my version of empanada. All right, speaking of Baro, talk to me more because you have something really special, very unique here on King Street. You got like a whole experience here. Every level is different. Yeah, Talk have... to me about the, you know, how it all started for, well, why Bottle? Why, why here? Why at King Street? Well, uh, as some people might know, I had a restaurant before called Valdez, right? Valdez is my uh, my mother's maiden name, her, her last name. And uh, we closed that to, uh, you know, they're developing and we spoke to the landlord and uh, they made it nice for us to move here. So now we have this four uh, story venue with a restaurant, clubs, uh, event space and, and coming soon is the fourth floor rooftop patio. Wow, are we gonna get the exclusive media behind the scenes? We we get, get... <laughs> once, once we get closer to opening it, we can definitely talk about that for gracias, sure. Gracias, gracias. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely been a ride and uh, you know, I decided to do Latin American food in Toronto because I felt like it was missing. Yeah. You know, I, and like I was telling you earlier, I never really had uh, the chance to work for a Latin American chef or a Latino chef to show me, you know, what is a proper, proper uh, papa la mancaina or proper arroz con pollo or whatever, right? This is kind of stuff that I learned at home and I took it, I, I took it upon myself to learn more, read books, recipe tests and trying different stuff out and then finally I moved to Miami to be as Latino as I want to be and uh, see what I can learn from down there. You know, I worked for some of the top chefs in the country and came back home and opened my restaurant and here we are. And there you have it, bada beam, bada boom. Guys, okay, I can't let you go without asking you one last question, okay? Because mm -hmm. you know we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month here in Ontario and across the nation. If you had to give one piece of advice to a newcomer to Canada, what's that one advice you'd give to them? 
some advice that I would give to a newcomer. Definitely, you know, if you're coming with a vision and you have an idea of something, just stick to it. You know, it's gonna be hard. Nobody said it was gonna be easy. You know, the, I, I feel like, uh, and I just, from my personal experience, find sometimes uh, people come here expecting this perfect world that it's yeah. gonna be a lot easier, that it's gonna be, you know, that's just gonna, that's, sorry, that stuff's gonna come, but it's gonna take time. It's gonna get harder before it gets easier. Stick to your guns, and, and if you have a, a proper product and a proper vision of something you really wanna do, you know, Make it happen. I like that. And bada beam, bada boom. All right, for more information, where can they connect with you, man? So you can find me on social media. I'm Latino Five Spice. Or you can fi find me here at the restaurant. I'm always here. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, he does some corporate parties. Is that right? Uh, we do parties here up on the, on the, here on the third floor. We also throw local Fridays up here with DJ Casilimas. We'll be spinning here tonight. Um, you know, you can find the, the website, www.borrowtoronto.com. Check us out, we're at 485 King Street West, just uh, west of Spadina, here in Toronto. Thank you. Thanks, Gracias. Man. Oh, we don't do a handshake, we do yeah. hugs. Yes. <laughs> All right, awesome. Peace. Wait, right, what's up, mi gente? Welcome to Barrow Restaurant here in Toronto. I'm Chef Steve Gonzalez, I'm kicking it with Spotlight TV, and my girl, Joanna Luna. Peace.